Stanislav, I'm from India and I want to know what are my options for the purpose of talent visas because I've heard that those visas are one of the best options for Indian born people to come to the US. So today guys, we're going to be discussing for those two beautiful visas if you're from India and what you need to know to prepare to get them approved. Also, you will learn how to get a free evaluation of your talent visa case. Let's go! Hello, my dear friends. I'm Stanislav Shamayev, a licensed business immigration and corporate attorney in Miami, Florida. Today, we're going to be discussing the talent visas, O-1 non-immigrant talent visa and EB-1A, the immigrant talent visa for Indian citizens or India-born people. Why do I say India-born? Because it doesn't matter which citizenship you have right now. Maybe you have uh, a British citizenship or Australian or Canadian or some other country. For the purpose of priority dates, this does not matter. Okay, what does matter is your status of being Indian born. That's important because I see some confusion about this topic uh, and uh, it's good to clarify it. Now, why are these visas are the best options for Indians? I think these are the only ones, okay? Uh, it's, I know it's extreme. It's, it's, it's extreme to say it uh, because there is a L1 and H1B visas and J1 and a bunch of other ones. But I do believe that these two visas are the only ones that you have total control of. If you go on L1, you depend on employer, you depend on the requirements immigration laws imposing you. If you go by H1B, you need to have an employer, you need to have a higher education, you need to speak English, you need to win the lottery, you need to, the employer to continue being with you. There's a lot of things need to happen. It's a good choice if you have it, but at the point when you have none of those, you know, it, it's really got to get uh, H1B. So, O-1 visa and EB-1A are the greatest one. O-1 has no limitations. As many petitions we file on behalf of Indian clients, we get them approved. The O-1 visas are among the best for the chance of approval with about 99% chances of your petition being approved in six months if I picked up your case. That's what's going on when we work on the visas with the team. As to EB-1A, that visa has more than 90% approval rate if I see the potential in the case and my team and myself work on those cases. What other reasons we have to move with those cases, to move with the petitions for EB-1A? The priority date is probably one of the main ones. By the way, guys, I believe only people from India will be watching this video. You, I want to congratulate you guys because the priority date for India-born people moved almost one year forward comparing to the prior visa bulletin. This is, this is just great news. From March 2021, we moved to February 2022, which means that if you got approval for EB-1A before February 2022, you can file either for adjustment of status or move with the process with your embassy. And this is great news. So if we do the calculations, the wait time if you get approved today and if you're in the born for EB-1A cases is about two and a half years. Insignificant compared to EB2 or EB3 where we have about 14, where we have about 12 years wait. Two and a half years and 12 years, this, this is a huge difference, okay? So now, uh, why am I saying that you guys have total control of those two visas? Well, let me remind you that both O1 and EB1A require at least three criteria to be approved, but we want to have five criteria for the purpose of O1 and six criteria for the purpose of EB1A. And let me give you the 
average uh, petition that we file in six months for EB1A. We have the critical leading role in one or two companies. I prefer two or more. We have your income. We have the uh, judging the work of others through competition or through assessing the work of other professionals. We might have association, especially if you're an IT specialist. And also we have the scientific publications and uh, press about you and your work. And I know some of you like, oh my God, the scientific publications, the press, how I do that. Well, if you work with PR agencies uh, and we know the contacts of uh, PR agencies across the world, they may help you to, uh, to get those criteria satisfied within a short period of time. And all those things will be real, okay? No fake, no uh, nothing illegal or only real stuff. That's what happens if we get the, uh, the uh, EB1A case. So O1, take one criterion uh, out, okay? And you get five and we can file with that. And you want to say, Stanislav, but O1 visa requires the employer. How you deal with that? Well, first of all, a lot of you guys already have an employer. And if you don't, you may register your own company, which will serve your agent or your employer. And you may use that in order to move on with your case. And this is uh, the best decision. If you can get the H1B, you just don't get selected. Something happens, happens with the employer, this and that. O1A case could be started simply with having critical leading role uh, and maybe income, okay? So if you have two criteria, then you are ready to start your case and get approved in six months. Stanislav, how do I know if I really qualify? Because yes, you say about this judging and the press and critical role, uh, I need like more specific answers. So just for you, I have a free evaluation service in my company. How to use it? Go down below this video and find the link that's gonna say free evaluation of your talent visa. Click on it and fill out the form. Within two days, I'll get back to you and assess your case for O1, EB1A, and maybe even EB2 and IW, which again, in case of Indians, is, does, not, does not make any sense because nobody's gonna wait for 12 months. So. If I see the potential in your case, I will invite you to the complex immigration planning where I will build a written strategy for your case in two phases. And this is amazing because you know exactly what you need to do, how many hours you will spend, the grade of your case and things like that. Now, what about the employer for EB1A? And guys, you don't need an employer for EB1A. All you need is to self-petition. Self-petition meaning you can file on behalf of yourself. So I have an extensive experience with filing O1 visas and EB1As. We have more than 2,500 approvals across all the petitions in our company. And those two visas are the primary ones that I specifically work on. So don't miss your chance to get the free evaluation. And by the way, guys, last but not least, if you are on H-1B visa and you're from India and you got your EB-2 already approved, once you get approved for EB-1A, we will be able to substitute your priority date for EB-1A with the priority date for EB-2, okay? And that way you will get your green card much, much faster. So free evaluation, complex immigration planning, starting your case, getting approved, coming to the US or adjusting your status is something that we're looking at right now. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you comment and ask questions. I also have the Instagram and TikTok and Twitter, X, Facebook, all the links below this video. Please follow me on those platforms because I post unique content for each one of them. My name is Stanislav Shamayev. I'm a lawyer of the future, your future begins here. Good luck.